Here is Earth. We're in Space Engine right now, and if you look right there, you'll see our moon, right? It looks like the moon. Wow, that looks really good. Space Engine's actually really good at this. But it's small, right? So I was wondering, what if we replaced the moon with different planets? Like, the idea of having Saturn be our moon, I guess in that situation, Earth would really be the moon. But imagine seeing those rings and everything right next to us. That'd be super cool. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be replacing the moon with different objects and see what that looks like. And we're going to start in order with Mercury. If you guys know about Mercury, it's not that much bigger than the moon. It's very, very similar in size, which is why this view right here, it just looks like the moon. So here's Earth and wait, where'd it go? Right there. But if we zoom in, we can see that, yeah, that is actually Mercury, not the moon. But this is probably the most underwhelming one because it looks so similar to the moon. I want to go land on Mercury now and see what Earth looks like. This literally just looks like the moon. There's Earth from Mercury. So now let's move on to Venus, which Venus is almost the same size as Earth. So let's see what that looks like. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an app that makes learning fun. I love using Brilliant to help myself get smarter every day. They have thousands of different lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and even AI. The way Brilliant teaches you is both fun and effective. The hands-on approach keeps you engaged and has been shown to be six times more effective at teaching you concepts than just simply watching lecture videos. Brilliant has both a website and a mobile app. It makes it really easy to learn no matter where you are. If you enjoy learning and want to build your problem solving skills in a fun and interactive way, you really should check Brilliant out. You can go to brilliant.org slash spaceship to get 30 days free and 20% off an annual subscription. Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. It really is cool, guys. You should go check them out. Okay, back to the video. Okay, here we are again at Earth, everyone's favorite planet. And now you can see that Venus is actually the moon. And whoa, okay, that looks cool. Cause you know, when you see the moon during the day, like a faint shadow of it, that is what we're seeing right now. But that's, that's not the moon, that's Venus. Let's go a little into space so we can get more detail on it. Wow, Venus is pretty. If we turn off the atmosphere, wow, okay. Can we see actually as time passes, what this might look like? So there it is going across the sky. It's a little bigger. Um, I think in Space Engine, things look a little smaller than how they would look to our eyes. Let's see at night. Oh, that's bright. So if you didn't know, at night, if Venus is out, it's very bright. It looks like the brightest star in the sky, but you're actually looking at Venus. Again, these don't look that different, you know, because it's just like a grayish object in the sky. So I actually want to try Earth and its moon is also Earth. Okay, back at Earth, but now if we look around, there's another Earth. It's not simulating their orbits correctly. In real life, if there were two objects like this next to each other, they would orbit each other. This is just showing if you replace the moon with Earth, but keep the orbit and everything the same. So let's go land on Earth. Even during the daytime, you can probably see it. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Wait, are we about to see a solar eclipse? Uh, no, they're gonna miss each other. Close though, look, sunset and earth set. Interesting. Okay, something that might actually be cool to look at is what does earth look like from the moon earth? Cause this is supposed to be the nighttime. Why is it so bright? We're getting so much light reflected off of the other one to make it that bright, really? Cause the sun is not up right now. That's interesting. So I'm wondering if that means then on the actual earth, uh, if it's on the other side, is it going to light up? Because we do get, you know, during a full moon, it's pretty bright outside at night still. How come it doesn't light this up? Uh, okay, well, there's two Earths together. Next up, we are going to do Mars. So all these rocky planets are cool, but I think, and everyone probably clicked on this video to see the gas giants because those are so big. Like Saturn especially is going to be really cool with its giant ring system. So there it goes across the sky. Uh, let's quickly see what it looks like in the day. Okay, we're kind of being blinded by the sun, but if you have really good polarizing sunglasses, you can maybe see that. Oh, we're going so fast on time. 
pretty sunset. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna try Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. What that looks like is Earth's moon. Oh, look at that shot. As soon as I open the game, dude. Whoa, that is really, really cool. Okay. You can see those are Jupiter's rings. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. Okay, this is actually cooler than I thought it would be. Wait, I didn't even think about this. It's supposed to be daytime on Earth right now, but Jupiter is so big, it's blocking the entire sun. So this is a solar eclipse, but it's so big that it's probably going to last for like days. Yeah, so you can see sun is back here. Jupiter is blocking all of the light. Realistically, it'd look like this. That's why it's so dark on Earth right now. Yeah, it looks like maybe like 24 hours. So like for almost one day every month, you're just going to be completely in darkness if Jupiter is your moon. Even during the day, I bet we're going to see a lot. Let's turn clouds off. Pretend it's a clear day. So you can just be on Earth and then you look up. That is crazy to see that in the sky. And then now what if it's actually supposed to be night? the light will reflect off of Jupiter back onto Earth. So it's probably gonna be pretty bright. So this is like what the night sky would look like. Pretty bright out still. And you have this giant view of Jupiter. And Jupiter does have rings, but the only time you would be able to see them is when Jupiter's blocking the sun. Very, very, very cool. We can't really land on Jupiter, but we're gonna go like in Jupiter's atmosphere and just take a peek at Earth. Uh, yeah, we're being blinded by the sun, but it's right there. Once again, this isn't realistic at all. If Jupiter were here, we would have to be orbiting Jupiter to not die. So this is not realistic of what it would actually be like. But in this scenario, it's still cool to look at. Now, arguably, what's going to be the coolest is probably Saturn, which is next up. Okay. Hello? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, on Earth. Well, wow, okay. Already, this is like really, really cool. So Earth and Saturn. Saturn is so pretty. Look at that. So that just looks like a really, really good picture of Saturn, right? But if we're on Earth, same thing's gonna happen where it's super bright even at night because of the reflection. But imagine being on Earth and you just look up into the sky and see this. That is so cool with its rings and everything. And you can watch it go across the sky like that. That's so cool. There are a few other things we can see. I want to see Saturn during the day, and I want to see what happens when Saturn covers the sun again, like it did with Jupiter. Wait, lunar eclipse? You could see lunar eclipses? Wait, that's so cool, look. So, and since Saturn's so big, this is gonna happen every month. You'll see Saturn have a shadow cast on it. This probably worked with Jupiter, I just didn't see it. So the Earth is casting a shadow. That's what a lunar eclipse is. But you can actually see the shadow, like, moving. Okay, this is cool. Seeing it, like, set vertically. Yeah, this, that's cool. And then also, let's see, uh, during the day, we're gonna have to wait a bit. Oh, see that shadow? Wait, wait, can I go back? Because, look, I wanted to see it right when it was on the rings. Look at that. The lunar eclipse passing over the rings of Saturn is very, very cool to look at. Look at that. That shadow is coming from Earth. So if we're on Saturn, then it's a solar eclipse. Like, look, we're right in that area being blocked. You can see the lights coming around Earth. That's cool. Let's see Saturn during the day. So on a clear day on Earth, with Saturn as our moon, you just look up and see this giant planet in the sky. Oh, one thing I want to see that I think would look really cool with Saturn is like a sunset. We're like right... The rings are like disappearing because of how flat it is. Depending on where you are on Earth, so this is the same with the, the actual moon. Depending on where you are on Earth, the moon looks like different rotations. You saw how it was vertical there, but if we go here, like what's this little island? Sure, let's go on that. See, now it's like angled. That would be so cool. Imagine watching the sunset and this is what it looks like. That'd be so beautiful to be able to see a view like this.
amazing. Let's see when Saturn blocks the sun from Earth. Right there. Oh, it's so orange. The sun is completely being blocked by Saturn. So the night sky would look something like this, where you have no sun for about 24 hours. It's just completely dark all day. And instead of the sun, we get this orange Saturn in the sky, which would look more like this. That is, okay, that's so cool. You can see the entirety of Saturn's rings. They're bigger than they look. It's just most of this is super dim. So we can see the sunlight cutting through, but we're still blocked from the sun. So it gives us this view. It's like a real solar eclipse where you can see the light, you know, kind of coming out of it, coming past it. I want to watch this over time. That's so cool. That view in the night sky, like, come on. Look at that. Wow, okay, definitely coolest planet by far that we've seen so far. But Jupiter did have rings, which we kind of saw. Every other planet that we're gonna show also has rings. Not as cool as Saturn's, but still rings. Like Uranus's ring might be cool to look at. Oh, wow, look at this. So in the day on Earth, it looks like a mini Saturn that's blue. This ring here looks very similar to Saturn's rings. Let's go ahead and see right now what that ring looks like if we cover the sun. Oh, why is it green? It's like green yellow. I wonder why it does that. And if that's real, like if that happens in this situation, why is it yellow? Realistically, this is what you're gonna see. This is like HDR, which lets you see really bright things and really dim things. It kind of averages them out. But the um, the auto lighting will show what it might look like to actually see this. And this ring on the outside looks super cool. This almost looks like that could be a logo for something. And this is the view from Earth's surface. We are on Earth right now. I don't know why it goes yellow here. Does it change? So. It does. So you know how the, the sky changes to orange during a sunset? It looks like when we have Uranus setting on the horizon, it changes to more green, which is weird. And then eventually it gets even more red and it sets. Let's look at it from a normal night sky. Whoa, it's really this bright? This is nighttime. There it is. What? Uranus is very, very bright. It lights up almost probably similar to daytime. Okay, it's not as bright as daytime, but your eyes adjust, you know? It's probably similar lighting to like, oh, I don't know, shadows. Is there a way to tell with the game? Exposure. What's exposure over here? Oh, it's a lot brighter, okay. But I think you'd be able to see just fine because you can see pretty well with a full moon outside at night. So Uranus in the sky lights up the sky very well. I think I'm learning that the coolest views are when it's blocking the sun because you get that light coming through the rings, which looks super cool. The final planet we have is Neptune. And then after that, we'll do everyone's favorite dwarf planet. Don't worry. I think he meant to say. And then after that, we'll do everyone's favorite planet. Don't worry. Okay, here's that exact view we were just looking at, but instead of Uranus, it's Neptune this time. And Neptune is this brighter blue color in Space Engine. If you look up pictures of Neptune, it'll be like a dark blue, but in Space Engine, it has this lighter blue. So actually very, very similar to Uranus, but the rings are a little different. Very similar though in this view. Let's quickly look at it with that other view of it blocking the sun. Okay. Yeah, see, it also goes yellow. Interesting. This view is cool. Like, look at this. And see this view again. This is so cool. Actually, really, really cool. Okay, we replaced the moon with every single planet in the solar system. Now we're going to do everybody's favorite dwarf. Now we're going to do everybody's favorite planet. Don't worry. Let me get this set up. Here we are at Earth once again. We're going to go land on it at nighttime. And the final object its favorite dwarf planet should be in the sky tonight. I see it. Yes, indeed. Eris. Oh my god. My favorite dwarf planet. Yeah, here's Eris in the night sky, everybody. Honestly, maybe even should be considered a planet, in my opinion. I had a lot of fun making this. I actually coded the replacing tool myself, this little thing, that lets you replace any object on here with any object on here. 
I'm going to put the link to the, the GitHub thing for that in the description if you want to download this. It's really easy to use. And I'm thinking of maybe doing another video where we replace the sun with different stars. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. You can check out Brilliant at the link in the description. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.